Be excited, crypto fans, because we're seeing a healthy pump with XRP, XLM, and other cryptos in the market. What if I told you that the biggest inflow we have seen in years just happened and we probably got more to come? Also, another new product offering for XRP holders. We're going to talk a little bit on Floki along with XRP, XLM, price action, and volume that's gonna blow the doors off of your expectations. Sup dudes and dude ads. Jeremy Touche supports the channel even more. Thank you very much, sir. This is Klaus, last man standing. We are pulling for you, sir. Yes, in five days, I will be entering a last man standing race and it's exactly what you think. Go until the wheels fall off until you are the last man or woman standing, I'm going to find my limit or I'm going to help someone else find theirs. Bitcoin sitting at 72,647. How exciting to say 70,000 instead of 60s or 50s. ETH 4,071. Look at XRP deep in the green. The last time I saw this much green, I was on the golf course putting for birdies, ladies and gents. 73 cents up almost 20% last 24 hours. Litecoin up 18% last 24. XLM up 12.5% last 24, sitting at 15.9. Things are looking healthy. But I got more juicy goodness for you. Global crypto investment surged to a record 2.7 billion in weekly inflows. Do y'all ever check out the reports from CoinShares regarding that? Well, if you don't and you want to, I got you covered. Because as always, any article you see in this video, along with all my other ones, they will be linked in the description below. See, I like to bring good news. I, I bring news, whether it's good or bad, but I'd really like to bring good news 24-7. It's so much more fun. Record-breaking week saw digital asset investment vehicles garner inflows of 2.45 billion, propelling the year to 5.2 billion. Holy crap. Check this out. These are the inflows here, okay? Look at this. Look at it. This is all since the BTC ETF. The market was basically like, nah, okay, we'll dabble. We'll, we'll touch it a little bit. You know, we'll kind of dip our toes in the water. Maybe just the tip. I don't know. Uh-uh. Now they are balls deep, dropping billions of fresh money into the crypto market. I also said there was a new XRP product offering. Oh, Told you I got multiple good news events. And for those of you out there that are like, bro, you never bring the good news. You know what I got for you? I got a big dose of shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah. I got a race week dose of that, which means, mmm, got the energy. Derivit launches altcoin options for Solana, XRP, and Matic. March 11th. Hey, that's today. That's why you hit the subscribe button because it's breaking juicy news. Derbit, the world's largest crypto options exchange, announced the options for three altcoins, Solana, XRP, and Matic. Sol options will begin trading filed tomorrow by XRP and Matic. Why are they doing this? Because there's the need for it. And if there's a need for it and they can make money on it, they're going to sell it. This is good. I would rather report on this than crypto closings. All right, Floki, let's talk about it. And then we're going to get into XRPX on price action, a little bit in more in-depth juiciness. This is what I got for the last month. Now, there's a big event happening here, and this big event is going to be continuous. And you're like, bro, what are you talking about continuous? What if I told you that Floki is going to be one of the busiest areas of the world for foot and eye traffic for three full months? Floki is back in the mainstream of New York with an aggressive marketing campaign in Times Square Plaza. Starting March 15th and running for a full three months, Floki will be prominently displayed in the historic and unforgettable Times Square Plaza. The digital billboard is so large it covers 1,600 square feet. What are some other juicy stats? Every day, Times Square welcomes a staggering 330,000 visitors or 50 million people annually. That is a lot of eyes on Flow Key. A lot of eyes are also on XRP. We were just hanging out here at 62 and a half cents. Then all of a sudden, there you go. We go up 12 cents, nearly 20% in such a short time. What's interesting is if you 
Move on over to X Slime, it looks almost the same. It just hasn't gone up as much. But look at this, looks nearly identical. And look at the volume bars on the bottom. And that's exactly what I want to talk to you about, is look at the volume right here. XRP last 24 hours up 300% to 5.8 billion. XLM up 250% to a half a billion dollars in volume. This is juicy, everyone. This is like big, juicy volume. And that's why I wanted to share the story with you earlier about crypto asset inflows. I thought this visual would paint a really good picture for y'all out there to show you what the BTC ETFs have done for the market. Now, I do understand that XRP and XLM are laggards and this move is long overdue. The volume behind it is impressive and overall in the market, you can see an uptick in volume here over the last several hours. What's even better about that is the market cap right now is sitting at 2.6 trillion and we are getting closer to that $3 trillion number of which we saw back at the juicy times of 2021. Now, we do have to be cautious. Why? Because the crypto fear and greed index, which, hey, was high at 85. How high were you yesterday? Were you 85 or were you 90? But guess what? Now the fear and greed index is sitting at 89.1. Still high, but you know what? We're going to celebrate the wins right now because XRP and XLM are both making good moves with XRP up 18, 19% at the time, XLM up 12.3%. The volume on both is exploding and I'm excited to share that news with you because we've got more money flowing into the market from BTC ETFs. We've got Floki making moves. I know there's some Floki fans here as well. We've got a new product offering for XRP and it appears that the laggards are starting to wake up. It really is so much more fun reporting on good news than it is bad, but it is my job to bring both news good and bad. But the smile on my face has to do with massive inflows from BTC ETF action. Now I know some of you out there are very concerned that this money is coming from traditional finance and all of a sudden crypto is becoming a bit more centralized than we would like. And I understand that concern. But right now, the big concern for the majority of people watching this channel has been, bro, where's been the action for XRP and XLM? Well, you're seeing it move right now, and we're going to keep an eye on it to see if the move holds. What's impressive about this move is the four to 500% increase in volume with XRP. That is big, big movements. Now I'm going to admit, and Jeremy touched on it in the beginning, I have a last man standing race in five days. The anxiety is there a little bit. I am getting a little nervous, but I'm feeling really good. The taper is going well. I'm feeling super strong. And for those of you that do not understand what a last man standing race is, it's exactly what it says. I'll explain it real quick if you're interested. And, and by the way, seriously, Jeremy and everyone out there, thank you for the support. Thank you for the well wishes on the race. I've been training for this for months, 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 and y'all know I've been sick. You've been hearing me on the channel. I've been sick. I'm feeling great. But let me explain, explain to you what last man standing is, and then I'll let you go on your day. Last man standing is this. Every 15 minutes, you run a 1.05 mile loop. If you finish the loop in 11 minutes, you got four minutes to chill out at your camp, take water, drinks, change clothes, shoes, stretch, do whatever you got to do. And then at that 15 minute mark, the next lap goes. You do the same thing. Now let's pretend you come around and you cross the line at 14 minutes. Well, now you've only got one minute to get ready. Every 15 minutes who's ever made it the previous lap will go into the corral and they launch us yet again. The event goes all day long until there's a winner. In fact, if we keep running for a 24 hour time period, we will have ran 100 miles. If at the conclusion of 24 hours, you have multiple people that have run 100 miles, there is a one lap sprint to determine the winner to see who is the last man or woman standing. There are over 90 athletes participating in this everywhere from California to Maryland, to Texas, to Virginia, to Georgia, to Florida, to Tennessee, South Carolina, everywhere. 
all looking for the title to be the last man standing. Now I'm going to admit the people that I'm going against are much, much better runners than I am, but I've got a little trick up my sleeve. Daddy's been packing on the pounds, packing on the glycogen, and packing in the muscle. Hopefully my skeletal structure will keep me going so as other thinner racers break down over time, hopefully my musculoskeletal system will stay strong and the base endurance that I've built will keep me going. Last man standing. I'm going to full send this son of a bitch and do whatever I can to keep going. I'm going to find my limit or I'm going to help someone else find theirs. So every 15 minutes, you better get your butt up to that start line and run a loop around. It's easy until it's not. We're going to run whether it's raining, whether it's dark, whether it's storming, it don't matter. Catch you cool cats later as the market is pumping big and smiles on the faces of almost every crypto holder. Thank you again for the support and I'll catch you cool cats later.